Go Buster! Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops! Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And <laughs> there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. It's the end of school. And it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. <laughs> now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one! Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! It's evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun! First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. 
They want to stay up longer. But Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster, too! They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. There's Buster and Scout driving home. Wait, what was that? Oh, wow. It's a little baby reindeer. She must be lost. Buster is trying to cheer her up. Aw, I think she wants to play. <laughs> She's a jumpy little girl. Now Buster's throwing a snowball. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Scout. It's fun to play with new friends. Now Buster has built a snow ramp. I wonder what he's up to. Vroom! Buster's doing a big jump. Now it's the baby reindeer's turn. Whoosh! Now Scout. Oops, sorry Buster. But where's the baby reindeer gone? They're following the footprints. There! She was playing hide and seek. Where's Scout going? Hmm, a big pile of snow. Oh, look, it's Scout. Whoa, more reindeer footprints, bigger ones. I wonder where they lead. I think the friends are going to follow them. The tracks are winding all through the trees. Look, it's Mommy and Daddy Reindeer. 
They're so happy they found Baby. Baby Reindeer has had so much fun playing with Buster and Scout. But now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, Baby Reindeer. See you again soon. There's Buster and Scout. They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no! Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all. Poor Buster. Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. Scout's feeling better too. They can go outside and play again. But wait, Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. Good job, everyone. Wait, Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks too so they don't get sick. There! Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Look at it go! Look, there's Mommy! She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing, but oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No, maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. <gasps> Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? <laughs> Under that pile of leaves? <laughs> Hooray! They found the toy car! But wait, now the controller is missing! Where did it go? Oh, there it is! Well spotted, Buster! Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again! But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them! Good job! <laughs> Look! Buster and Cozy Coop are playing in the park! There's Iggy the ice cream truck! Buster's going to grab some ice cream! But what's that? It's Robot Buster! He's turned yellow like Buster! Cozy thinks it's the real Buster and wants to play, but oh no! The ball hit Robot Switch, and it turned him mean. Robot Buster is leading Cozy away. 
Now Buster is back, but he doesn't know where Cozy went. Poor Buster. There's Iggy. What's Robot Buster up to? Oh no! He's throwing tomatoes at Iggy. That's very mean. Cozy looks very upset. Robot Buster is running away now. Poor Cozy doesn't understand. Meanwhile, Terry is playing the accordion. Nice. Oh no! Robot Buster smashed the accordion. Poor Terry. Cozy is standing up to Robot. That was really mean. But what's this? It's Buster! Hooray! There's the good-bad switch. Cozy knows what to do. Flick! Now Robot Buster is nice again. Good job, Cozy and Buster. Now Robot Buster is making up for being mean. Iggy's all clean, and Terry's accordion is fixed. <laughs> Hooray! It's a bright new morning, and Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting! <laughs> oh no! Buster accidentally ran over the present! It's flat as a pancake! Poor Buster! It was just an accident! But wait! I think Buster has an idea! Look! Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box! And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. There's the wooden stick, too. And the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. But what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present and... Whoa, it's a pinata. It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with a stick. Off he goes. One more. Smack! Look at all those sweets! An amazing birthday present! Look! Buster has arrived early for school today! There's Scout and Diggly! Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil! Oh dear! The blackboard is wrecked! Scout slipped too! Phew! Oh no! The clock is broken too! What a mess! And here comes the teacher! They'll need to clean everything up really quick! But the board is too heavy for Scout! And Diggly can't pick up the letters! Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces! I think Buster has a plan. They can swap oh. jobs. <laughs> Scout can collect up all the letters. Then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. 
just in time. Here comes the teacher. Well? <laughs> Everything looks normal. <laughs> Apart from that letter. <laughs> and the time isn't right. <laughs> and the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. It's a bright, sunny day. Buster and Cozy Coop are visiting the beach. They're playing volleyball. And look, Sham the shark wants to play too. Cozy throws the ball to Sham. Oh dear, the ball has popped on Sham's teeth. Whoops, but what's this? Is that a treasure map? Whoa, there's buried treasure. And it's buried on that desert island. But how will they get across the water? I think Buster has an idea. Whoa! Buster has built a ramp out of sand. Whoosh! Oh no! Splash! Buster couldn't jump far enough. I guess they'll have to try something else. What's Cozy seen? A giant lily pad. Maybe they can drift across the water. Uh-oh. Cozy's come to a stop. Cozy tries paddling, but they just go around in circles. Luckily, Sham can push them back to shore. Thanks, Sham! But they're still no closer to the island. But what's this? Sham has a raft! Now they can cross the water in no time! They've reached the island. Now, time to find that treasure! X marks the spot. Is this X the buried treasure? No, that's just some twigs. Is this X the treasure? No, that's just some seaweed. What about this X? Hooray! There's the treasure chest! Well done, Cozy! Look at all that shiny treasure! And look! A golden ball! Now they can play catch again! Well done, everyone! Look, it's Buster! And he's having fun playing in the muddy puddles! And who's this? It's Cozy Coop! Buster loves making new friends. He wants Cozy to play with him. Cozy's a bit shy. But Buster encourages Cozy. Playing in the muddy puddles is so much fun! Cozy jumps in. Hooray! Now they're playing together. Hop, hop, hop through the muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash. That was great fun, but now they're all muddy. Time to head off to the car wash to get cleaned up. There it is. Buster's going to show Cozy how the car wash works. Buster turns it on, the rollers spin, and in they go. But wait, that's not right. They're still muddy. The car wash didn't clean them. Something must be wrong. Buster goes to take a closer look. Cozy tries pushing some buttons. Oops! The roller bonks Buster on the head. And what's this? The water button? Uh-oh. What's that noise? Splash! Buster and Cozy got all wet. But they're still all muddy, too. Something still isn't right with the car wash. Cozy goes in, and Buster looks at the controls. There. Uh-oh. The lever is stuck. Buster can't turn it off. Whoa! Look at all those bubbles. Phew! Otis the police car turned the car wash off. Now Buster and Cozy are clean at last. But look! Otis is all covered in bubbles. Oops! What a bright sunny day it is. Oh look! It's Diggly and CJ. They're filling up CJ's mixer with water. What are they both up to? Look! There's Buster and Scout. Phew! What a hot day! I wonder what they can do to cool down. Whoa! Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons. <gasps> Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea. Ooh, a water balloon fight. Ready, set, off they go. 
<laughs> what are Buster and Scout planning? Oh, look! Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash! Uh-oh! Scout has been hit! And bullseye! Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? It's Scout. But she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster. He splashes CJ from behind. Quit, Buster! Oh no! CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered. What are they going to do? Aha! An umbrella! I think Buster's got a plan. CJ and Diggly take aim. But Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella. Great idea, Buster. Uh-oh. Diggly and CJ are filling up again. Whoa! Look at the size of that balloon! Looks like Buster is in trouble. Wow! Nice shot, Buster! That was so much fun. Look, it's Cozy Coop at the sweet shop. And they've bought some tasty sweets. Now here comes Scout. She wants to get some sweets, too. They look tasty. But, uh-oh, it's that mean old bully, Bandit Bus. He's stolen Scout's sweets and eaten them. How mean of him. Poor Scout. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cozy visits Buster in the park, where Buster is playing with his soccer ball. Cozy wants to share the sweets with Buster. But oh no, it's Bandit again. He's stolen the sweets and eaten them himself. And now he's seen the soccer ball. Bandit has stolen it. Aw, poor Cozy is so upset. They got those sweets especially for their friend. But what's Buster doing? He thinks they should follow Bandit and ask for the ball back. It's not right to take things that don't belong to you. Buster and Cozy drive along the road. But what's this? A trail of sweets leading into a cave. That must be where Bandit went. Buster and Cozy are headed inside. They are going to ask for the ball back. Look, there's Bandit. But he looks so sad and lonely. Look at all the drawings he's made. Oh dear. Bandit doesn't have any friends. That's why he stole the sweets in the ball. He has nobody to play with. Bandit has noticed Buster and Cozy. Buster asks for the ball back, and Bandit gives it back. He's sorry he made Cozy upset. But what's that noise? It's Scout, and she's brought Otis the police car. She tells him that Bandit has been stealing things, and Bandit ends up in jail. But what's this? Buster and Cozy have come to play with him. Stealing is wrong, but they know Bandit is really sorry, and he only wanted some friends. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But, oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him, and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but, oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. Now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, 
The red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it! Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun!